everyone, and welcome to this special edition of the Northwest News Magazine, focusing on the airline's new corporate identity. Northwest's current identity and symbol were created 20 years ago, at a time when the airline served only 47 cities and the workhorse of the fleet was the 707. Much has happened in those years. In 1970, Northwest took delivery of its first Boeing 747. Transatlantic service was introduced in 1979. Pacific development picked up considerably in the 1980s. And this summer, we'll see the region's largest single expansion in Northwest 42 years of serving Asia. But the most significant event of the past 20 years was the merger with Republic in 1986, turning two medium-sized airlines almost overnight into the nation's fourth largest airline. The merger created a vastly different airline, one that is decidedly global financially and operationally stronger and ready to grow. Well, we strengthened our system to prepare for substantial growth, and in so doing, we've improved uh, operations, service, and certainly our performance, too. And we've changed the corporate culture uh, by opening internal communication lines, uh, being more accessible to employees, uh, and pushing decision-making down to the lowest level possible in the organization. With all these changes, it was time to examine our identity and image also. Uh, if we're different than we were 20 years ago and expect our customers, employees, and shareholders to believe it, uh, our physical identity and the whole way of doing business needs to reflect the changes and the fact that we're truly a new airline. Uh, Northwest employees played a key role in defining a new company look. And in fact, uh, they were an important source of information and represented uh, uh, a great deal of input uh, responded very eagerly when we were surveyed, uh, when they were surveyed about our name, our symbol, colors, and the other design elements. So the new image is largely a product of the Northwest team. First of all, the red tail is not proprietary. There are uh, any number of airlines that have uh, red markings or red backgrounds on a vertical stabilizer of aircraft. But what it means for Northwest uh, is a statement of the company's past, uh, present, uh, and future. What uh, we felt and research verified is, is proprietary to Northwest uh, is that look at hubs and uh, gateway cities where you, uh, you can't help seeing uh, a forest of red, of red tails. But what's been missing all along is branding that tail with something uniquely Northwest. And the solution happily that uh, has been approved uh, does just that.
we still have some work to do to uh, communicate to people that we are a major airline, uh, that we're not just a major domestic airline, but a major international airline as well. We have to communicate to people that are familiar with uh, the Northwest of two years ago or five years ago that this is not the same company that they remember, that it's a bigger company, a company of considerably greater scope, and a company that is, uh, I think, in general doing things in an extremely professional uh, and very sophisticated way. Certainly, the, uh, the changing of the, uh, the basic look of the airline uh, is designed to call attention to the fact that, that we are a new entity. It's, it says to people, hey, look us over, uh, reconsider Northwest. We uh, did end up going through a th thorough survey uh, that every employee at Northwest, both in North America and overseas, was able to participate in. Uh, the design firm that we're using, uh, Landor & Associates, which is uh, got undoubtedly the best international reputation for doing uh, airline design programs, uh, has told us that that's the first time they've ever had a client that has wanted to solicit the opinion of each and every employee before embarking upon a major change. Well, it made me feel very important because uh, not all times do uh, companies care about their employees' opinions, so I felt it was uh, very complimentary that they even took the time to ask. It's highly appreciated too to know that you are recognized and you know being accepted as an employee and uh, it makes you feel good you know. The new image that's being introduced today isn't painting of airplanes and new ticket counters or new back wall designs. What it reflects is what's most important to our image which is our customer service and our dedication to our customer service. It, it's, it's meant to reflect our, the change in our culture that we've worked on for the last year, the participation of all of our employees in how we operate our airline, how we can do it better, how we can best serve those customers. When you're done with the image uh, that's created by, create, by doing the best you can in service, then the next piece of it that comes is the how are we visually portrayed. So the efforts that were, were undertaken in this program was to, to make sure that our visual image supported the change that we are now undertaking with the airline. I think one of the most exciting things to me personally with this introduction today has been the reflection that it gives of the change that's happened at Northwest and the amount of employee involvement, whether it was those of you who participated through the survey or those of you that participated through the customer focus groups, or even the excitement I saw down in Atlanta when we test painted the DC-9. When it came out into the daylight, it really, really had a nice shine to it, and that was when we really got a feel for it. We were all real happy with it. Your personal opinion? My personal opinion is I think it's, uh, well, it's overdue, and uh, I think it's, it's a nice, tasteful paint job that uh, will make everybody happy once they've seen it. Well, just looking on the order of gates, we've got 400 gates domestically, and what those gates will entail when the full corporate ID program is implemented, um, new decor in the gates. Initially, you'll see just new signage on the back wall podiums. As we get further in the, what they call the environmental aspects of their program, the podiums themselves will actually change in design and colors. The backdrops will change in design and colors and quite possibly the seating and carpets in the hold rooms. This is exciting. We've traveled a long road together and made some very real progress by working as a team. We feel better about our company and we've substantially improved our performance. Our employees are good. They know it. I know it. And it's time the general public knows it. With this new image, we can stand as one of the world's great airlines as one of the great providers of customer service. All of us have earned it. We need to stay the course now and tell the world. The new image, sometimes you can say the record speaks for itself. Well, the record does speak for the new corporate image of Northwest Airlines. The employees have rallied together uh, to make the standards of service very high. They've rallied together to make Operation Breakthrough a success. 
So the new corporate image just makes a statement. It's an outward sign that we have something to be very proud of. Now, had this new corporate image come before the employees had rallied together with management to make this company what it is today, it wouldn't be effective. But it is effective now because it just makes a statement that it's already happened, and now look at us, we have arrived. Well, I think the biggest thing um, what I, I see happening with that is I think it'll be a big unifying force um, for everybody. Um, it's been, I think, everyone's impression that um, we're, we've all been pulled together as parts of airlines. And the logo, the name, meant something for one airline. Um, some of the employees, I don't know if they feel part of the whole body. And I think a new, new corporate image structure is going to make everybody feel like they're coming together finally at last as one team. And that will give them another starting point as we go forward here. During the past year, we've made some very significant changes in the way we communicate. Not only in the way we communicate with our outside audiences like the news media, but in the way we communicate with our inside audiences, our employees. During the year, we totally revamped passages, we changed the design, we changed the format and the content. We added the Northwest Television Network and Northwest News Magazine, and we added Vector, our new quarterly magazine for employees. And we beefed up Newswire to make it more newsworthy and more immediate for our employees. With the introduction of the new corporate ID program, these communications tools, Passages, Newswire, Northwest News Magazine, and Vector, will be among the first items that will reflect this new program. And you'll see some fairly dramatic changes in the way they look. But beyond the corporate ID program, what's really important here is that the ID program and these communication tools really reflect the new attitude at Northwest, the new philosophy, the new corporate culture. Very simply put, they reflect the new Northwest. I think the more employee communications that you have, the better job that we'll be able to do. It helps in everybody's job, I think, but especially in people that have public contact, like reservations or ticket counter people, because then when people ask them things that are going on that they've read about in the paper, maybe we'll have a, we'll have a better knowledge of what's going on rather than just appearing like we have no idea. One of the most important things to understand about the program is that it's been driven by a uh, positioning strategy. It isn't just about uh, what color the, uh, the airplane is or, or about what color we like or about what the airplane looks like. It's about uh, a very definite and deliberate process of developing a positioning strategy for the company. Uh, we, we really uncovered two things that were a uh, large part of what the company is about as well as what it's trying to become, what it aspires to become. Uh, first, that we're an American company uh, as opposed to a world company. We're an American company with a decidedly global franchise. Uh, and secondly, that we're a very practical, straightforward, can-do kind of company, very businesslike. And uh, those two together suggested a positioning which we've called American practicality. We're planning in, uh, in the fall to be very, very aggressive once uh, a lot of the... Uh, uh, physical elements of the identity are in place and created and in existence. Uh, our plan is to go out and very aggressively market the new uh, look of Northwest uh, as a complement to all of the other solid progress that we've been making uh, for the last several months. It communicates in insignia fashion an N first and foremost. Uh, secondly, if you look at it carefully, also a W. Uh, and thirdly, if you really look at it, it, it also signals a direction uh, in a northwesterly uh, direction, uh, an arrow pointing or a compass point pointing uh, uh, to the northwest. The use of color has been very strategically selected. Red has been extended from the red tail to the top of the fuselage and used extensively in a controlled manner in other applications. Uh, gray, uh, as a background color, is also used extensively and we believe imparts a degree of sophistication and business-like efficiency. Um, white, uh, in the new typeface, uh, which is a serif typeface, uh, adds sophistication, stature, and dignity, also uh, suggestive of a business-like efficient travel. And lastly, uh, the use of blue, which is important, an important element of uh, Northwest's heritage, is used in a speed stripe uh, on, on aircraft fuselage and will be used selectively uh, in uniforms and other applications uh, throughout the system. The enthusiasm we've seen in bringing this new image to life is really exciting. A lot of details still have to be worked out. And it'll take us about three years to fully implement the changes. But we'll keep you posted on 
as these new elements are introduced and as they develop. Thank you for joining us. We'll be back again soon with a regular monthly edition of the Northwest News Magazine. We'll see you then.